This week on Team Baborn. So maybe we could do with another one of these. Oh, darn it. No picker picker mod. Shakes fist up screen. Oh, it's in. It's done. The strat made to 9,000. Do we need a better name for this? Probably. But Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Team Baborn with me, Biffa. And here we are in our ever growing Connolly. Colony? Colony. That's the right pronunciation. And we've been trying out all the new update six stuff. We built a little aqueduct over here to bring water out to this area. And I'd like to work on an extremely long aqueduct all the way down here where we can basically shift our bad water off the map. And if this prototype works over here, then that's going to help us with getting rid, of, getting rid of all the bad water that we've got in all sorts of different places. And then moving on from that, I've got a huge project idea for these water sources over here. Because as far as I'm aware, <laughs> these are the only other ones on the map. We've got bad water that pops up in various spots. But yeah, that is the other way that we get our good water. So we're going to be working for that. So I'm very excited for what is coming up. I know it's night time, but if you squint, you'll be able to see over here. I've had a few comments about this area, which I think are very valid comments about making use of the area where the water is. Um, so we are going to grab our platforms here and we're going to fill this all in like so. We're also going to do all the way down here. There we go. Oh, ooh, ooh, not that one, not that one, one too many. There we go. Get that all filled in and we're going to put these items on the top of here and that is going to mean we're going to be able to plant even more trees than we had before actually i changed my mind i'm going to put the storages on here and i think that will work even better because these things don't line up in the middle uh, when you put them in there and i can't have that i can't have that let's just pop in some paths so they can have access to all the stuff that is not a path my friend there we go there we go and that means we can delete these ones Oink, delete that one and fill this with lots of lovely oak trees lots of questions as well about the trees why have i gone for all sorts of different trees uh, and not just gone for the same tree which gives you the most logs uh, that's because oh you're in there have you got nothing to do oh have i not marked these trees for cutting well that would be a mistake wouldn't it let's mark these for cutting it's because i wanted um, a load of trees to be coming at different times there we go so like we've got now these aren't ready yet but these are so we're starting to cut those down ah, that was the only reason we can always change it up later if you want but also getting in some of these pine trees you can get the sap from those as well so we've got those options available to us uh, let's just make sure that we get these extra trees in and we'll be done there we go very good so get that all built for us thank you kindly and the drought has ended thank goodness for that everything's gone okay i don't think we actually shut any of these did we oh we did okay well let's just wait until the water comes back out again and that'll be fine so the idea is is we're going to build across here which is going to need a lot of infrastructure i'm also going to cap the top of this off um so i'm just wondering whether how high we need to pop these in here so it looks like that section there we can do a little four by four that will fill right to the top that is too high let's get rid of those there we go that's better and uh, we could do another three here i think there and there and then basically i'm just trying to get this to the same height as this and then i'm going to put an impermeable floor on the top and just cap that off there we go and that's where our water sources are Ooh, we can't put anything on the top of those oh okay well that's a question how do i do that then i mean i could just lower the whole thing down instead of having those in the middle whack a five by five metal platform on the top i think that will cover the whole lot yeah one two three four five yeah definitely and do it like that and then put an impermeable floor on that let's give that a go yeah there we go that height there will work it will it will mean removing all the paths and things when we get there but we'll get those built which i know they're going to struggle to get to at the moment so maybe we could just pop in one of those like that can they reach that and they can reach that over there yeah okay we'll see what they do and then over here we're gonna have to build in oh my goodness me a very very tall so the idea is is to cap that off take out the two outside sluices so there's only one in the middle that is where our bad water is going to come from we're then going to build this up so they can come across here um let's see how far along we're going to have to get this one something like that and then every now and again i mean we haven't got our six by one overhang that's going to cost us three thousand science i know we need the science i know we need the science we've got the four by one at the moment which what we can do is every fourth like that 
Uh, let's build these up, and then we can do that, and then we can rotate that around. And that is the idea. We could use that to build in, and then on the outside, we can build up like this. There you go, like that. Um, and then you can just block it in with some levees. There we go, all the way along. And then you can even fill that in. So then we could do that all the way along. And then we can plop on the top of that impermeable floor. Obviously, we need some impermeable floor on this all the way through. And I believe that will make a tunnel. And then the water will just come through there under quite a lot of pressure all the way off the edge of the map. Or we could then direct that to other places and use that as a constant power source. Mmm, ideas, ideas. Oh, and of course, we do have some other water sources. So we've got the ones that are right up here that we use, basically those couple that are keeping the whole colony alive. We've got these ones over here, which are dug down. There's like one, two, three, four, five. I think that's it. I've got plans for those. But then in the middle over here, I've lost it, I've lost it. Where are they? Where are they? Hidden away. There we go. We've got one, two, three. And I'm just wondering whether those are a little bit easier and nearer to get to than all the way over there. We could save that for later and we could use this. And the benefit of this is it's up nice and high as well. So if we box that in and build up a great big tall box on there, we could send that stuff out all over the place. That would just be great. How's the things going on our tree plateau? Well, you guys are just extremely very slow. Do you know what I'm going to do? Uh, to speed things up a bit, we are going to add some of these onto here because we've got 137. We cover this entire area down here. Wink, loink, yank, bonk, and oh, and bink on there. And another one there. That's the whole thing. You're going to need some stairs to get up there. But that means that we can then get that at the same level as all of this. Continue our water going through there. Uh, stairs, 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 and stairs, stairs. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> Let me try that again. Let me try that again. Ah, there we go. Brilliant. So we'll get that on super high priority. And we'll get this on super high priority. We'll get all of this on super high priority. And hopefully, they'll get it done very soon for us. Thank you. So I think what I'm going to do while we're waiting for that is I'm going to mark this area out over here. I am just going to have that go straight off the map. Um, and that will be the start of... Actually, mm, I could just have it go... Mm, now I've said that. We could just have it go over here, couldn't we? And drop into that area and see what happens with that. Yeah, let's do that. What I'm thinking now I'm doing this, um, of course, is I don't need... Uh, let's do that one there. Let's do that one there. I don't need all these other supports in the middle as long as they can walk along the top of these and build down, which I'm assuming they can. So I could basically just get rid of all of that. Yeah, and all of this. Yeah, and we just have these little towers. Yeah, we'll get rid of those, get rid of those. Ooh, that hold all of this up. Suddenly, this is becoming more affordable. Oh, I'm liking that, I'm liking that. So what's the distance between these? Let's have a look. So it's going to be, we'll go down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you do two towers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that in the line? And then you've got your two towers coming up. So obviously, they're going to be different heights depending on... Uh, I think actually we need the full height on that one. And then we do that. Yeah, and then we do that. Oh man, that is so much better. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Let's continue along to the edge. Okay, so there's that project marked out all the way to the end. And we know this is going to cost so much iron blocks, metal blocks. We've got like seven. <sighs> So we need to really do something about that. They can't get to any of this at the moment, so that's fine. And then, of course, we have this other project that we started over here, um, which they're already starting to put these items in. Oh, man, are they really they're putting these metal platforms in already? That is fantastic. Now, up for the top here, I saw a lot of comments about this, and I 100% totally agree with you that to go to all the effort of all of this and just to put medium warehouses on here is a little bit silly. So that's fine. I get it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have medium warehouses down the bottom here because that's the space that we've got these large platforms up the top we are going to unlock the large warehouse 250 science bang we've got that that's no problem these take logs and planks we have got logs and planks all day long and then what we can do is we could pop them like that is there like a path going through there or something there is let's just use this tool here and get rid of that very carefully yeah there we go excellent so we could pop those up there. We could have this little path run around and then we can expand off the back again if we wish, which I think is a great idea. 
Uh, there will be another platform there when we get there. So I'm going to add that one, add that one. Let's run our paths around here like so. And then, of course, at the back, we'll remove some of these paths won't we? So, we can, uh, so we can build up. But I'm just going to pop them in now because... It's probably going to be a heck of a long time before we get all of this done because we need so much more metal production. What's happened there? Is it all in? It's all done. It's all in. It was confusing me for a second. Cool. So as we're working along here and we're getting these put in, we can start beefing up our storage of stuff. So these, I mean, to be honest, it's probably easiest to look in here, isn't it? What we can add is canola seeds. We've got loads of that. We really want to start having more storage for our food to help with our production. So I'm going to have, when I say production, I mean production of more beavers because they all come out of a weird pod. So yeah, we're going to have that one in there. The corn rations in there. And we'll just work our way through these and we'll have the eggplant rations in there. Yep, that looks good to me. You carry on with that, my lovely beavers. Let's have a look. How's the water going? 1k. I've still got these paused up there because we're relying on this, which I think is probably the best way to do it at the moment. Oh, they've done it. Excellent. So in here, we're basically going to store logs in there and we're going to store logs in there because eventually we're going to have a lot of logs. Look, these are all going as well. So I can unpause that. Wes is working in there for us. Bartosz Schneiderland is working in there for us. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. Don't forget, if you head on over there, you get the patron-only satisfactory series, which everybody's loving. I think episode 20 is probably out now already by the time you see this. So very, very exciting. So over here at the metal factory that we've got set up. So we've got a lot of the, well, I say we've got a lot. We haven't really got much of the scrap metal stored. And look at them. They're taking it. They're using it. So maybe we could do with another one of these. Oh, darn it. No picker picker mod. Shakes fist up screen. Let's add another scavenger in there to do that. We'll get that done and hopefully keep up on that. And then we've got two of these that are working away, churning out our metal blocks rather slowly. Although we do have 26 spares, so they're not flying through them that much. Maybe that will help. What's the power like on these? 84, sometimes 100%. Yeah, so maybe that will help. So then while all our beavers run around and head to bed, let's just check what we're, the hauler situation is like. Um, so we've got six in there. We've got four builders in there. And then a lower priority, we have our other builders here. So at the minute, they're not filling those up. We have 11 spare workspaces. That's probably that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's it. Yeah, so any more beavers that are born now will be going into our builders stock, which is what we want to get all of this done. All of this jobs and things so many things to build over here so the other thing i have considered doing i mean this i don't know quite how this will work i mean i do want to build up this great big tower here as high as it will go and have pipes coming out to it to water and fertilize all the land in different places i mean we could do something similar here we've got this water coming out of this area we could build that up and could we then build a pipe to come all the way around and just like fill up the top again and just sort of go around in the circle. Is that even humanly possible? Possibly? Possibly. I don't know. We, sh we shall see. Um, I think what I'm going to do, now that our forestry area is done, I am going to prioritise all of the bottom stuff down here. Because at the minute, it's all on super low priority. So if we sort of go like that, and just take this middle section, um, these ones here I am actually going to just remove until we decide to do something with those because I don't want those actually built. And I know even if I put them on super low priority, beavers will beaver and they will just be built anyway. Uh, and everything underneath, I think, is almost done. So that should be... Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's grabbing the platforms as well. Yeah, excellent. So hopefully we'll get that done and our storage problems will be a thing of the past. Oh, I guess I forgot I put this at high priority. So they're doing all of this first, which is good. We can get that all, all leveled and ready thank you very much for your hard work on lane all the explosives all this will be fun once this is done i've got a couple more of the deep water pumps going uh paul dilly and blue salamander i'm a little bit worried about the lack of water it's dropping below a thousand i know that's going to be a lot of that is going into our pods we've got six kids up to 66 beavers been neck we are expanding like mad so i've got to be super careful with that and also we've got these going over here which are using a lot of water as well i believe 40 water 192 hours i've no idea i think oh 40 water gives us 45 mushrooms how much it uses a day unless it says on here and i'm just completely missing it algae i guess algae is filled up yeah so we need more storage so the beavers aren't sitting around on the backsides doing nothing like this guy here 
stop sitting around doing nothing. Currently running on super duper speed so we can get this area flattened over here. We've got a drought coming in half a day. Uh, yeah, water's up a little bit. So I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to do the usual and I'm just going to shut this up and probably flood everything. Yeah, that floods too quick. That's what it is. Let's do that instead. There we go. Just trying to save as much water as we can. And then as soon as the drought hits, which is about to do any second now, as soon as the sun comes up, can I shut that a little bit? Yeah, there we go. That's fine. And then I'm going to stop these two pumps. Bink. And the blue sun mandate will out of a job. And then hopefully, yeah, that's already lowered down enough. Hopefully that will keep us going. That'll be good. I mean, eventually, eventually, eventually. So many plans. With all of these bad water sources we've got up here. If we can stick domes on those, fill great big boxes with that water and have it running through pumps and we can open and close those at will we can have constant power with our water wheels running through those that that's just like the long-term goal plan these new additions are absolutely brilliant okay I, well, i'll be back when this is done i don't think anything's gonna oh we've got so much more wood now which is exactly what we want how's the metal going two they're still like really slow on making these uh well it's not the scrap it's basically these isn't it we just need more beavers working on these um i'd like to sort of make this look nice i'm gonna put them in here back to back i think uh, let's grab a couple more smelters bonk and bonk uh that will obviously share the power between everybody and then we can get a path running around here like so there we go excellent and then if we want we can add in another industrial mill although planks are going through the roof that is fine and we've sort of hit our storage limit on those so if we just get these in uh, there we go high priority those as well because ethnic high priority was all oh, gears oh we've got plenty of gears yeah that's fine so it is only wood. Yeah, 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 that's fine. And down here, we've got uh, where we're storing the metal blocks. We've got plenty of wood. We've got plenty of space for planks. We've got some haulers down here as well. I forgot about those, but they've got food and water. Yep. So we just wait for these to get done and hopefully double our production because, yeah, until we get those, this ain't getting built. Oh, the second one's gone in. The second metal platform has gone in. What can we do for these? I think some of the basic stuff probably could do with going in here so soybeans is filled up by the look of it so we'll go for that one there and also egg plants i've only got small storage so we're definitely going to go for some of that as well i may go through and change some of these later but you get the idea of what i'm doing okay please continue building with what, what we've got next coming up here oh we've got some more of these yep and another platform are they overhanging a platform yeah so we're waiting for this platform under here to be done if i could click on that yep getting there good i've just realized over here we don't need all of this built up like that either if we do a little something like this there we go another mini platform on this leg in the middle then we can do the same here like that and then we can build our levees uh, on the top of that and that is what can block the water in either side so again we don't need all of this ridiculousness we just need that oh that is going to be so much better and the last other side of the leg there we go that's all built in so then we can just add these like this uh, we'll do it that way and like that there we go and then i've got to go back oh, oh didn't mean to change that there we go and then i've got to go back and obviously change what i did right at the beginning oh there we go that side that side oh man this is this is going to be so many metal blocks along the way and what i'm what i'm thinking as well as having yeah we can't do that we've got trees in the way we'll sort that as well as having this going across here for the bad water we could open up like a hole at the side and have it drain down into yeah a power thing yep eventually that is the sort of thing we're going for cool how are we getting on over here with the tint there's one one left and it's on not quite high priority please get that done who's gonna do it for me who's gonna do it for me look who it is it's blue salamander get that done thank you very much right okay we're gonna go for all of this in one go after three go oh we just got out of the way in time nice look at that now we can fill all of this up. oh we need more tnt more tnt and then we can fill all of this up with water and trees as well Boink. oh more storage is available over here on what i'm calling the storinator 9000 i may come up with a different name we'll, we'll find out when the video is released um yeah so we're going to add in here some mangrove we're filled up on note let's have a look at this one here so does that then tell me where is that one i can't find it there it is it gives me stored in oh yeah stored in it gives me the three sizes whereas this one here it says stored in 
the two... Oh, it says stored in the three sizes at the bottom there. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So then this one here will then go for the kohlrabis, I think. That'll be good. Oh, okay, it's showing me all the available options that you could have it stored in. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have. Does that all make sense? I hope it all makes sense. Anywho, yeah, let's go for a couple more of these. We've got eggplant rations, I think. Okay, I think that's good. So we've got corn rations, eggplant rations, soybeans, eggplants, mango fruits, kohlrabis, fermented cassavas, fermented soybeans. One, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight. So we're missing something, which is the berries, of course. Not overly fussed on the berries. So that's all nine of those are taken care of, apart from the berries, like we just said. So then as we expand, we could do the same up here and just have ridiculous amounts of storage. Oh, the drought has ended. Excelente. So that means we can drop that back down. I've been sort of doing that at 0.90, and that's been working okay. Hopefully, actually, I did it at 0.85, just to make sure it's enough to go through. This middle one, I don't bother touching now. That one's on 0.8. So that's no problem at all. These are already filled up. Do we not have bigger log storages? I mean, these are literally it. The largest size we can have. Um, I need to sort of come up with some way of getting some stairs going around these so we can add more. How about something like this? Yeah, I think that'll work well. So we've got this one here, which we can get up to. Then the stairs go woo, all the way around up on the corner. And then we can meet this one at the top. And then we could just keep going round and round and round. And that will work well. And we've also got this space here, which we need to fill in with water. Oh, that's all going to go off the end. Let's get a levee in there at super duper high priority. Thank you kindly. And then we'll also fill this in with those. And we'll add a stair there so everybody can get to where they need. Thank you very much. And I'll also add a path there as well. Very good. So these are going to hold logs for us. And then that one underneath also is going to hold mm, logs for us. There we go. Excellent. Oh, this is this is getting good. This is getting good. I'm going to do the same over here as well. All right, beavers are all asleep. I'm checking out how their work is going. They seem to be stalled a bit. This one here, 52 out of 90 metal blocks on that platform. Um, let us just swing over here. All of these are in. We've got blue salamander again. Googly Draxel and that other guy and JT Glaze, but we are extremely short of that. So that dumb kitty, Michael Harrison and Devers, they're not really keeping up with the work that's needed over here. So let's add, ooh, what do we reckon? Another couple? Yeah, let's do that. We'll get you on a high priority on both of those. And who are we going to get working in here for us? Ah, Quantum Dude, thank you very much. And Stitch00. Zero zero. Yep, you get working in there and really get this scrap metal going because we're struggling. And I'm thinking power is probably going to start struggling as well. Yeah, we're only getting 46% of power. So we could do with another one of these, uh, which is in the power tab, which is one of these in here, the engine. <laughs> there we go. And if we just turn that round so the path faces out... That hooks into there as well. Yeah, I think that is something we need to just get done. Logs, gears, metal blocks, 20. Ooh, hopefully as that's nearer, they'll do that first. Let's see what happens. And then we can get that path. Uh, oh, want that there. Coming into there. We'll make use of that space with something. And here they all come. This should get done super quickly. And of course, the other reason why we need all of our logs, not just for building, because it's used for power as well, isn't it? So is that in? Is that going? Not yet yet oh there we go it's in and going i think all the metal blocks are being stolen by the platforms that we're building by the ton so that should help a lot so now if we check these out they're getting 91 percent of the power that they need do you know what i'm just thinking i'm just gonna add another one in here because why not we've got enough of everything oh there we go it's in fantastic prioritized by haulers on these i completely forgot about that we've got haulers here doing that job Let's bring the logs in. I think this person's bringing the log in. There we go. So that now should be more than enough power for all of these things once that goes as well. 100% power on our four smelters. Brilliant. So now we should start seeing this go up much, much quicker. And then when we're over here... Oh, yeah, we've got two more at the end, haven't we? Okay, we'll sort those. And now these over here... What can I click on to see these? I think this one was getting filled in. Yeah, so I'm going to start putting these here one end at a time on full. And we're going to work our way through these. You're all struggling for water. We've got 1,000 water. I, water is the one thing that worries me the most, I've got to be honest. Even though every time I say that, I look at all this water here. I think I need some pumpers a bit nearer up here. 
everybody in the audience are just slapping their heads because they've probably written that comment about 40,000 times. Okay, I'm going to get these things filled up. Uh, soybeans seem to be filling up. So we're going to have another one of those. And also, what have we got in here? This one, eggplants. We'll go for another one of those. Just put one of these platforms in that I deleted before, thinking what can we do with this little space in between? And I'm thinking, because this one here is going to have one of those. Yeah, so we get the space. Let's add a three by three onto the end. It's cost a thousand science, we've got 3000. So that's fine, let's do that. And then on top of that, we can then add uh, our deep water pump. So we could have, oh, they can't fit more than one on. That is ever so slightly annoying, but then we could have one there, one there, one there. I know it's a lot of, <laughs> it's like eight metal blocks plus another 30, 38 metal blocks just to get that up in the air when you could just place it off the side here. But we're we're building stuff for fun. Why are you suddenly doing this one? Oh, you're putting all the logs and planks in, okay. But we're building this stuff for fun. Could I extend this out? Do you know what? I think we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with that. And then we're gonna have like a load of these on there as well, because why the heck not? We check in at the tree area. I'm gonna fill this last little bit all with oak as well. And our new super triple high log storage is going in so they're basically filling up the second one then we've got the third one how's this one going over here second one is starting to fill up then the third one we are going to have so many logs that is going to be brilliant how's it going over here oh you're working your way up excellent and the bad tide approaching so shame we couldn't get our bad tide thing aqueduct going over here but like we said that's a future project Just wanting to get that uh, marked out i really would like to get this water thing in here so we can make sure this one here that we have absolutely as much water as we can are we going to get this built in three days i don't think we are i mean they're going to give it a darn good go look we're getting the metal blocks coming in and the building for this we're just waiting for them and then this really isn't going to cost us anything much at all so maybe we will and then they can like pump three little bits of water and that'll be the end of that oh while they're working on that we've had one of the large warehouses go in and by the way i should set these as supply ones that go out to other places that would probably be a good idea and then we can also set some haulers up in here at some point as well but as it goes at the moment i mean these rations are basically the things that are the best food that we've got um our gear storage is actually pretty full up i'm not too worried about that so maybe let's just start and go along the top corn rations seem to go down well let's have another one of those oh man is this the last metal block it is somebody just needs to come and build it who's gonna who's gonna build it oh you're a star now all we need over here is for 12 logs we have got more logs and we've got a whole day of water pumping uh to fill up i mean those are the nearest ones we're gonna have this prioritized by haulers and all the stuff and we're gonna prioritize it who's gonna do that for us we're so close we're so close come on come on i think they're all doing it look they're all going mad it's done matt 2895 get in here prioritized by haulers pump that water as much as you can matt came and went where's matt here he comes he's thirsty well you know your new job actually could help you with that yes there we go we've got a thousand i'm hoping that this bad tide isn't too bad but yeah maybe a little bit too late for that hey ho at least this is automatic I mean, I think I could ever so slightly change the percentage on that because we've got a teeny tiny amount of bad water coming through there, but nothing too bad. I'm going to pause those, which you can't tell because I've got the HUD off. There we go. And then hopefully we'll be okay. I think we will. I think we will. Yeah, now that's put a bit of a dampener on our plans. We've completely used up all the metal that's here. Is there any other metal on this plateau at all? I mean, there's that. Oh, we ain't getting to that anytime soon. I mean, we, mm, we could build stairs and get up to there. Oh, good grief. I'll tell you what, until we work out where we're going next, uh, who have we got in here? Uh, Devres, you're fired. That dumb kitty, you're fired. Cerberus 6, you're fired. Um, Stinch 00, you're fired. And Quantum Dude, you're fired. Um, we need to find somewhere else easy to get to. This ain't too far. We could maybe do something there yeah i think considering our production is there i think this is where we need to get to because even though we've got this one up here which might only be a step it's like all the way through the whole colony to get there i just think yeah here will be good so maybe we could just pop in a few little structures and some stairs here and get down reasonably easily 
Yeah, there we go. Not as difficult as I thought. We'll just get some stairs down there, get our four scavenger flags in there. We'll have this one in, but that's going to be a supply. Um, and then we'll be able to set that to use by haulers when we get there. And then we'll have this one all the way over here as an obtain, which will help this area, hopefully. But at the minute, our production of those things has stopped until those stairs go in, which means I've only got these three pumps working, but I think they're okay. We've only got 1.2 days left. We'll survive. Oh, and it's all in. Uh, who are we going to get in here? General Kenobi. I'm going to up the priority on you. Hello there. there. We're going to get to check to Chachahi. Yeah, Cerberus 6, you're back again. And Techie Mantis, thank you very much for getting all of this to work. Prioritize building by haulers. Yes, please. You get going there. That's fine. The water's come back. We survived the bad tide. That was no problem. And then what was I looking at? My haulers to make sure. Yeah, I'm going to add more spaces on there, but have them at a lower priority. Thank you, everybody, for coming in to help. And our builders, no available workers in the district. That's fine. Yeah, excellent. So everything's filled up now, apart from those beaver slots. Uh, builder slots. Well, you know, technically it's a beaver slot as well. It's just waiting for this stuff over here. So we want to get this platform done. Two metal blocks left. Oh, it's in. I missed it. Here we go. We've got Flame, Flamey Thick is in there, prioritized by haulers. Thank you very much. You keep in there pumping the water. So now we're just going to live off these four which I think is the best way to go, uh, which means I am going to delete these ones over here. So I'm not tempted to use them again. Uh, how long is it going to be before I rebuild those? Hopefully not very soon. And I think that should work absolutely fine. So now, basically, it's like getting the rest of this done. Let's up the priority on these. Get these in. These are the only things that need the metal blocks at the minute. They need 90 each which is nuts. Let's get these done as well. We'll get those on a slightly lower priority and hopefully we can get our store on eight or 9,000 done. I also want another platform here, but we need some stairs to get over. Let me just do that. Right, we're back. We're in super speed mode as they work on this last metal platform over here. Times 30 speed. Oh, yeah. And they're flying through it. We're literally, every time we get a metal block, it's thrown into here. We've got so many being used. Am I going to be able to... Oh, 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 it's up to 82. Can we move across here and see what's going on? All of these are now filled up with wood, which is absolutely fantastic. We're getting all of this now is filled up. Oh, we've got a drought approaching and they're being brought over here. Yep, there we go. So we haven't got a bottleneck anymore. Um, you probably saw, oh, there we go, that's done. Let's just slow down a bit to normal speed. Probably saw I added in some haulers over here on a slightly lower priority to take away from the builders because we've now got four water pumpers up the top here and then we've got our two down there, six. We're up to nearly 2,000 water. We've passed 80 beavers which is just absolutely amazing. Uh, we just want to get this one done. And what's that going to store? I mean, we're now storing all sorts of everything. I've just been putting in whatever is at the highest, apart from berries, by the time I do it. Um, I'm just wondering whether some of the raw materials could be good. Let's maybe go for the fermented. I thought that one was in here. Yeah, we've got the fermented doodabs in there, but it's really looking full up. But I, I, I might just pick gears. And let's just go full bore on the gears because we're going to need to do a lot of building for that. But this is looking absolutely brilliant. Let's just wait for this last item to be finished. Oh, it's in. It's done. The store in eight to 9,000. Do we need a better name for this? Probably, but we'll see what we can do. I've just realized, I bet we could put, oh my goodness me, can we add uh, these on the top of here, but the other way around? No, I thought we could and it would line up with there. I'm sure we're going to come up with something to keep using it. Do you know what we could do? <laughs> Just add some platforms on the top of there. Oh, that'll take it too high, wouldn't it? Surely. I know that's it. We could do that. And then we could add uh, these on there. And it would, it would meet up and it would be even more storage. Oh, my goodness me. This thing is taking off bigger and bigger by the second. Well, there we go. What do you reckon to the builds today? Come back next time. We are going to tap into we're in a drought at the moment i think oh no we're going okay tap into this water storage over here we're starting to get water all over the place and it's gone a little bit dark and then we'll try and get this finished over here our humongous bad water aqueduct that is the plan if you enjoyed this one leave a like check out the next video on the screen i'll see you next time Bye bye